Oh, winter's officially here. Zoe's putting a coat on, <laughs> a big coat. Big coat straight away, yes. So, hello. Hopefully we've sorted the lighting out on this video. <laughs> what kind of a thing is that? Oh, hello. <laughs> anyway, we're in the woods, local woods. Got the tarp up, um, tents going somewhere. But yeah, it's offic officially winter. It is. It's going to get down to like two or three degrees tonight. Not that it bothers us, but... Um, no, it's about five or six at the moment, isn't it? Out of the car. So uh, yeah, Zoe's just put a big coat on. Um, oh, I like to stay warm straight away. Yes, <laughs> you look very well illuminated as well. <laughs> so tents up in the One Tigress Cosmito today. Or Cosleco, as some people call it. It's never leaked on us. I just tried to walk around the guy line whilst with the camera. You can't even see these here, somewhere there, there. So black, I just walked into it. Yep, there we go anyway. It looks nice in the wood because it's sort of all brown and the wood's all brown. <laughs> My boots. Yes, yeah, so your boots very muddy. <laughs> uh, apart from the bedding, I reckon we're set up, aren't we? Yeah. More or less. Yeah. We'll do the bedding in a bit, but just got the old baking tray there with the um, one tiger stove on it, sat on a stump with some tin foil. Gonna wait till it gets a bit darker. I mean, it, it's a little bit darker than it looks on video, in all fairness. And this is the first camp. A wild camp I've ever been on, and I've not brought any chocolate, which is shocker, isn't it? Yeah, absolute shocker. It is. I've got actually he's brought fruit and vegetables instead. Skittles, they're fruit, fruit flavored. Yeah, it's Skittles and Grays. And Grays, yeah, which is like <laughs> rabbit food, but it's uh, it's all right. Yeah, it's just nice to be out in the woods. Yeah, I've I've got this thing here. Look, <clears throat> this nice sit mat. I'm sad off. I forgot my <laughs> sit mat. Gareth forgot his. So I get to sit. Well, Lisa... not, not on the mud and the wet. <laughs> Well, at least I didn't forget my uh, sleep mat. Well, hopefully I no, didn't. Anyway. At least you forgot something. This is the important moral of the story is that you also forgot something. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, it's nearly dark now. Owls are going, which means uh, time to get that fire lit. The owls are really loud, aren't they? Yeah. Really loud or really close. Noisy kids. I decide. I like the owls. Yeah. 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 They like me as well. No. Here they go again. Already. Nicely blighters every time, innit? Yeah. Without, a, without fail. <laughs> Just circling up above us. So the wind's changed direction, and so now the fire is just blowing smoke straight in and under the tarp, so we're going to move the fire, as you do. There we go. It's all fun and games, isn't it? I feel like I'm carrying <laughs> the Olympic top. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you don't trip over, you'll be fine. That'll be better that way, so at least the smoke's going out into the uh, woodland then instead of under the tap. Well, that was drama free, wasn't it? It was. Uneventful. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you could have tripped and, like, done something. <laughs> Hang on. Ugh. Cheers, everybody at home. Rum and Dr Pepper. A litre. That's all I've bought. What you bought? About 600 ml of... I thought you were going to say 600 litres, then. 600 litres. <laughs> yeah. Of Bailey's. But I may or may not drink it. <laughs> I wish I had 600 litres of Baileys. Christ, I'd be a wreck. I'd be a wreck. Yeah, you'd just be on the floor. We'd never see you again. So we're gonna. I don't know why we're bothering with a little one. So we're gonna tip it into the baking tray and cook a tea. Cause we've, we've got a a rack. Don't you see that rack down there? So I've just got burgers, pre-cooked burgers for tea, and Zoe's got steak. Steak, yeah. Steak, yeah. <laughs> That would be cruel to eat that here, wouldn't it, with all the deer? Birds, I could eat some birds. Mm -hmm. Now I've got um, like a vegetable casserole, it's a bit like tomato. I thought we decided it was a soup on the way. Well, it is really, but I was trying to make it sound better. Oh, sorry, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut that bit out. <laughs> it's like tomato soup with cubes of smoked tofu and peas in it. Sounds delicious. It is actually nice. <laughs> okay. look, at, look at this, look. You've got a neck torch on. And then I can't even see it. Oh yeah, I can see it there. there. Yeah. And then when you want to see where you, what you're doing with the wood pile, just lean over and the torch just dangles in the right place. It's groovy, isn't it? It's like quite helpful. I know, mine dangles in the right place when I bend over. <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> Heated socks, time. Zoe's going to get her manky feet out. Hey, don't pull my feet. <laughs> Am I not allowed to film your feet? I haven't got manky feet, I've just got normal feet. <laughs> All right, calm down. <laughs> The pretty important thing is you put in all the socks on because your feet yeah. are getting cold. I've got, I've got two pairs of socks on now, but you know what my feet are like called. Heated socks. These are awesome. You've got a battery look there. 
in that little bit there. And you got some pants with a battery in it. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just flick them on and then it warms your feet up and then you turn them off again. It just stops your rain ads kicking in. It's brilliant. <laughs> Right, so it's that time of night where time to put the grate on, start cooking tea. It's great, isn't it? It's great, yeah. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Scarus burgers there have been burnt to death and I'm going to use a nice simmering side over there. No, leave my side's going, your side's gone out. Mine's gone out, I know. <laughs> I'll this just, is, this I'll, is always what happens, isn't it? I'll just give it a quick blow. you got a lot of peas in there, Zoe, I Christ. Got, i got a lot of peas in there, look. Yeah, that's like pea soup. Chuck that into there. Well, actually, I won't do that with one hand. I shall come back to have we got, we got any peas left at home now? Um, yes, there's nothing wrong with lots of peas. When you do this, you need um, you need plenty of oil, a bit of cheese on there, and some sweet chili sauce. It sort of smells like the fair because of does, the onions. It, it does it? smell of the fair. It smells really nice. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. There's mine with my tofu and my peas. That's nice. How's your peas soup, Zoe? It's nice. Is it? Yeah. Really? It is. Apart from burning the bottom of the pan, look, this is a hazard of filming somebody else's food while leaving yours on the heat. <laughs> so I burned it. Is that pan one of the titanium ones we have? Yeah. Titanium's crap. It just sticks. It really is a marketing ploy. We've got titanium yeah. pans, Zoe has there. And, um, we thought, yeah, titanium lighter and all, but our anodized aluminium ones are actually lighter and stronger and stick a lot less. So yeah, they do, don't they? Unless you're just boiling water or doing slop. Well, even that slop's stuck. That's just because I didn't stir it, though, but um, yeah, they do stick. Yeah, anodized aluminium for me all the way, definitely. Cheaper as well. It is, yeah. Mm. Right, we're going to take that rack off and then um, get the fire going again. Rack. Ah, oh, rack. Boobies. <laughs> Go on, Zoe, give it a blow. Jeez. <laughs> you took over your ass. Couple more blows and I'll be there. Uh, it'll be there. <laughs> Stop it. You saw my breath out. <coughs> oh, Christ. It's working me out. I'm eating my tea here. I know. It's what 20 a day does for you. Yay. <laughs> Every, <laughs> ev flame. Everybody cheer at home. Gone. Uh, maybe not. Just seeing a couple of deers over there and their, their eyes keep lighting up, <laughs> like shining the torch yeah, over there. It's a few, isn't they? Just running back and forward. <laughs> on the lens. Um, but yeah, we're get, getting through that wood. I think we've got that left. Yeah, that is it. So we're. Uh, About six sticks. Six sticks. <laughs> yeah. And then it's probably, I um, don't know, a bit of my flask, coffee, probably early night, I reckon. Probably. Yeah? Yes. But yeah, I was just saying, we haven't heard any deers all night, and then we heard a noise over there, and we're like, what's that? She's on the torch, you see these eyes shining back. It's, uh, Makes a change, because the last few times that we've been in the woods, obviously they've been rutting, so it's been like really, really noisy. It's quite nice, it's quite a change after yeah. all that. Yeah. Quarter past nine, I think we're going to be old and uh, go to bed for a bit of, how's your father? Uh, no. I <laughs> no, we've run out of wood. <laughs> I've run out of wood. <laughs> My wood never runs out. <laughs> Bought a bag from the tarp into the tent and... Uh, we were going to leave them under the tarp, but then we thought deers or something might come and chew them, so we decided to put them in the tent. <laughs> well, I don't know the diehard fans of the channel will know, but I, I got a brand new bag once and went on cycle camp and um, anyway, woke up in the morning and a mouse had chewed through it. Which was, um, so I've got a new hatred for mice. Yeah, that was hilarious. It didn't touch mine. <laughs> yeah. But we blamed your food, didn't we, inside your bag? A cheesy smashed yeah. into... Um... That really strong smelling cheese. So. Anyway, yeah, going to go in the Cosmeto and um, go get all snuggled up in there, I think. Yeah. There we go. So tonight, on these, as usual, the something, what are they? Exped. Sinmat 7s and the Nature Hike down bags. Really good combo. In winter you you definitely need something that's insulated underneath you, whether that's a foam mat with something on top or a, these mats with insulation inside. Um, they're my favourite sleeping bag ever. Yes, Zoe absolutely loves these. <laughs> I do, but I'm normally too hot. Snowbird. 
Yes. Nature Hike produced some really good stuff. Is it? But I've emailed them a few times and got no response. So after sales care, well, certainly from my experience, is pretty non-existent. Products are good and hopefully you won't need after sales but care. But if you did, oh dear. Yes, that's dangling down there. But um, yeah, I, I do really like the tents and the sleeping bags, but just don't expect an email <laughs> back from them. Snuggled up in bed. So sorry. Nice and warm. But it's like the old, you, you could probably relate to this, you laid down, get all snuggled up in bed. And about 10 minutes later you think, mm, could do with a wee. I think that's started to kick in a little bit. Not for you, because you've not drank much. Anyway, I'm going to get up for a wee in about 10 minutes, then um, go to sleep. So, see you in the morning. Bye. <laughs> morning. Morning. Sleep all right? Yes, nice and warm actually. It's just gone 9 o'clock. Lazy gets, aren't we? I know. But we was awake for about an hour or so just before it got light or just as it was getting light because the birds well oh, something else on there absolute racket it's really weird because they started making a noise when it's dark and normally they don't do that till it's sort of like early morning and there's a bit of light so. it was i think it was starting to get light like not very no right. just you know what it's like in winter where you can sense a little bit of light but um uh, prior to that the monk jack deers woke us up barking um uh, bit of rain through the night and it's probably the first lion we've had in months it's the first lion <laughs> normally when you have your days off in the middle of the week then the kids are getting up for school aren't they so you're up you're just always up it's actually nice to have a lion i had a couple of dreams that i could hear like blokes voices coming through the woods like it was getting discovered or something in one of the dreams i um i got halfway out of the tent door i got stuck I couldn't get in or out of the tent i was like zoe and i was trying to kick zoe in like in the tent and uh, then i wake up above oh. I don't know why I was dreaming. I woke up because someone was kicking me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you jumped in the night. I, I moved. You I, did elbow me or something, yeah. I turned around the elbow and Zoe went, oh. <laughs> it did, yeah. Because I, 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 I said, are you all right? But you didn't answer me. <laughs> I think you said sorry. <laughs> I did say sorry. But um, anyway, we're going to get a brew on the go because my, my uh, mouth feels like Gandhi's flip-flop. Uh, nice morning, though. It's not raining. It's not blue skies, but it's um, it's alright. It, it? It's chilly, but still chilly but dry. <laughs> right, let's get a brew on the go. Lovely. I think I'll have three splodges today. So he's just trying to find a spoon. I forgot mine again. Keep on packing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice. Is that a baby spoon? Um, no, it's one of those that comes in like them containers. And it was just in the lid. Oh, right. Right, brew, that's done. Needed that big time. Now, the tent, it's drier on the outside than it is on the inside. So, obviously, this time of year, you get a lot of condensation in, in any tent. If anyone tells you they don't, they either don't camp enough or they're a liar. But um, this has condensated on the inside. Uh, it's just that time of year. It's warm inside the tent ish, cold outside, condensation. It's physics, isn't it? So I think what we're going to do, and I mentioned this on video, we're going to turn the fly sheet inside out and put it back on the tent. So if someone comments, dude, your tent's inside out, then that's the, uh, that's the reason <laughs> that's why. That's the reason, yes. Yeah, just a drying method while we're here. So if anyone's interested, Zoe has just done a review on these gloves yes. and, and the heated socks. So a lot of people have asked about these. Um, so there yeah. is there is I've, going to be a I've review up. for about five camps now and then we'll do a long-term review later on but I have done an overview just so people because a lot of people are asking me about them yeah so do they, do they come in that natural green color they come in this natural <laughs> dirty green color where you picked up sticks yes they come black <laughs> wet firewood They're waterproof so you know I've been picking up twigs <laughs> um, right yeah we're going to just flip that inside out now and here we are inside out look how sodden that is so wet isn't it yeah that oh. is Dry that, way around there. that is really really wet but yeah it's probably the best method to dry the inside um, if you can on your particular tent is just turn it inside out for half an hour so it's actually dry where we uh, where we had the tent pitched so fire was where Zoe was stood all packed away and uh, clean and tidy remember to sleep somewhere amazing tonight yep and or somewhere damp and shitty in the woods like we just <laughs> yeah. did and uh, yeah thanks for watching
bye